Samsung is making some big moves right now, and it all points to one thing. The Galaxy S26 series is getting closer, and the Exynos 2600 chip is almost ready for prime time. And trust me, this time, Samsung looks like they really want to get it right. So here's what's going on. Samsung has started expanding its chip testing network. Basically, when a company makes a new processor, they need partners to test every single wafer, every single chip, to make sure nothing comes out broken. Before now, Samsung mostly worked with companies like Doosan, Tesna, and Nipes for their high-end Exynos chips. But now, they're adding a new partner, LB Semicon. This might not sound exciting at first, but this tells us a lot. When Samsung brings in another testing company, it usually means production is getting bigger, like they're preparing for higher volume, and that lines up with what we've been hearing about the Galaxy S26 series. Rumors say that the Galaxy S26 and S26 Plus will use Samsung's new Exynos 2600 in places like Korea and Europe. But if you're in North America, you'll probably get the Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 5 instead. And the S26 Ultra? Yeah, that one is expected to use Qualcomm's chip globally. No Exynos there. Samsung seems to be playing it safe. But here's where things get interesting. LB Semicon is now installing equipment at its factory, so they can start testing Exynos 2600 wafers before the end of the year. This company is part of LB Group, which is connected to LG, and they specialize in OSAT, which basically means they test and package chips for big tech companies. Their job is simple. Check each wafer's electrical performance, find the bad chips, throw them out, and send the good ones forward for packaging. Now let's talk about the real star, the Exynos 2600. Samsung is building this chip on its brand new two nanometer process. That means it should be more efficient and more powerful than their current three nanometer chips. Samsung says the new node gives 8% better power efficiency and 5% better performance. Those numbers might sound small, but in tech, 8% power savings is a big deal. It means cooler phones, longer battery life, and less throttling. But wait, there's something even more exciting here. There are rumors that the Exynos 2600 might use this new packaging method called HPB, High Performance Block. And this is actually cool. Imagine placing a heat dissipating block directly above the processor next to the RAM. It's like giving the chip its own dedicated heat shield. Samsung claims this could improve heat control by up to 30%. If that's true, then overheating might not be a big issue anymore. And you know what that means? better sustained performance. No more chips that start fast and then slow down after five minutes. So basically, Samsung is treating this chip very seriously. They're expanding testing, bringing in new partners, increasing production, improving thermal design, moving to two nanometers. Everything points to Samsung wanting Exynos to make a real comeback. And if the Exynos 2600 actually performs well, then the Galaxy S26 series might be the first time in years where people won't be afraid of the Exynos version. Imagine that, choosing an Exynos phone and not feeling cheated. That's the dream for a lot of Samsung fans. We still don't know everything about the chip, but the next few weeks will reveal a lot more. One thing is clear. Samsung is getting ready for something big with the S26 series, and the Exynos 2600 is right at the center of it. If this chip really delivers, then 2025 could be the year Samsung finally changes the Exynos story. Let's see how it goes.